Hi, this is JC with Finale Inventory. Today we are talking about landed costs. In Finale, we track landed average costs when we're looking at your inventory valuation. Landed average cost means not only what you pay for the product, but what you pay to get it to you. Landed costs can include things like freight, shipping fees, customs, duties, or insurance. We can allocate these costs in a few different ways to your products. One is by units, one is by subtotal, and one is by shipping weight. So let's jump right in. If we go in and create a purchase order, we will enter our products. And here you can see our subtotal and our landed cost are the same. Now we talked about landed cost not just being the cost of the products, but also what you pay to get them to you. So we can add below the line items like shipping fees. Let's say I'm paying $10.99 to get these to me. Here you can see I'm allocating this by the quantity in units. Now if I want to allocate this in a different way, I can go to my application settings, to my purchasing module, adjustments, and I can change any of my below the line items or add additional below the line items. Here's where you can change the allocation. Right now we're allocating by the quantity in units, but we can also allocate by subtotal or by weight. Jumping back to our purchase order, we can now see that the landed cost and the subtotal are different. And if we click on the show landed cost details, you can see exactly how that shipping charge was allocated by line item of this order. Now if we commit and receive our purchase order, now we can jump back to our product. And if we look here, here's the planner that we ordered. We still have the cost of $5, but when we're looking at the average cost, it's inclusive of that shipping charge. That is landed costs in Finale. If you have any questions following this tutorial, please do not hesitate to reach out to service at finaleinventory.com.